I wanted to talk with you guys today about how you're going to be posting to a platform called Artsonia. Artsonia is a spot where you can take photos of your artwork and post it online. And if your parents give you approval, then people will be able to see it online just publicly, which is pretty cool. It's a great way for you to get feedback and it's a great way for me to document when you're turning things in because it has a time marked stamp of when you submit it. So I'm going to show you all of the steps that you need to follow to post to Artsonia. And it's really important that you pay attention to exactly what I'm expecting from you for this because Artsonia is the way that I grade all of your projects. Um, so make sure that you're paying attention to all of these steps. It's super important because you will be doing this to turn in every single project that you complete. When you're finished with your project, you're going to take it over to where it says Artsonia Station. So we've got this space that's right next to the window, so it's prime lighting for taking photos. We're going to set our picture down and you're going to grab the iPad so that you can get started with the process. So once you've got the iPad, you're going to look for the app that says Artsonia. Uh, you can find it on the main page or you can find it on the home bar just down here. So you'll just click on that little app. When it comes to this home page, you're just going to click on students and it gives you the option to scan the QR code or enter the class access code. Sometimes after this has been done a couple of times in the students area, then you don't get this prompt. But if you do, you'll just click scan QR code. So scan QR code. And up next to the window is this little QR code that you're just going to help it find. And then it says Centennial High School, please confirm. And we say that's correct. So once we've done that, you need to enter your first name. So if you just start typing, oops, start typing in your first name. Oops. So we're saying it's Haley. Then you can go through and see which one is you. You can also check to make sure that you've got the correct grade. So if I said Haley H and I clicked on it, then I can say this school year, it's double checking that it's 2019 with 2020 and we're going to say add art. Once you've clicked on add art, it will give you a list of all of the projects that are available for you to turn in. So it's only going to give you the projects that are in your specific class. So you can go through and decide which one of these projects is the one that you're turning in. So you'll click on that and then it gives you the option to take a photo. So that's when you're going to be lifting this up and taking your photo. These are things that I really want you to pay attention to. First, looking at my piece of artwork, just like straight above it, I can tell that it's like sort of bent and curved right here. So I can take the time to just kind of flip it over and just kind of crease it going the opposite way as carefully as possible. We don't want to damage our art, but we also don't want it to look like it's curved in our picture. So that's better along this edge. It's still sort of curved on this side. So I'm going to just lift it up and very gently like run my fingers along that opposite side so that I'm not making an additional dent. And I'm just sort of trying to tweak it back into a perfect shape. Once it's pretty close, I'm going to just grab that iPad and I'm going to hold it directly above my image. So we need to kind of center it in the middle so that we don't have any awkward angles that are left over. So I'm just holding it directly above. I'm also standing off to the side so that my shadow isn't coming from the window and I'm not like making this shadow right here. So sometimes kids stand there and you can see that their shadow is in the way. So I'm going to take a photo that is not acceptable so that you can see what I don't want first. This is an example of an image that is not acceptable. So the reason why it would not be acceptable is mainly because the borders are so uneven. And if I tried to crop that, then I'd have to crop off a huge chunk to make it not have the black in the background. So that's something that you really need to be paying attention to is how much space you have on the entire border going all the way around. This is another example of something that I will not accept for your grade. So if you happen to take a picture and the orientation was wrong, so say it took the photo upside down, there is a fairly simple solution to fixing this. So you can just go to this little rotate button and it'll rotate it around until it's correct. Uh, this still has a little bit of an issue because you can see that the borders are uneven. So this section is smaller than this section. So that means that I need to retake this one. 
there's the little retake button up at the top if you need to retake it. So this is as close as I could get it since my paper is a little bit bent and that happens, that is a pretty common problem, but there's an easy way to fix it. So first I took my photo so that I could see that black border around the edges so I could tell if it was pretty close to being correct uh, as far as like the gaps sizes. Um, when you are ready to crop it, there are two different options. There's this little horseshoe, which is the dumbest tool. So that means that you would just then like take this little spot and bring it in, which then makes it lopsided. So I don't know why that's an option. Please do not select the horseshoe tool. What I would rather you select is this little tool with the windows uh, and the arrow. So if you could choose that one, that would be excellent. And I want you to drag this corner all the way down until it's at the very last point before you see that little bit of black. So all the way up until you don't see any black on that side, same with this side. Now I'm gonna come up to this corner and I'm just going to select that and then bring it all the way out until I don't see black anymore on either side. So I can select that that will be the cropped area. Once you've finished cropping, you're just going to head over to the top right corner where it says next. You're gonna click that and then it gives you the option of editing a few things. First, I always recommend just seeing what it looks like with this little magic wand. Sometimes it looks better, sometimes it doesn't, so let's see. And you know, it kind of made this part a little bit whiter, which is good. My paper is actually white, but the lighting is just a little bit off. So that means that I can go to this little uh, sun right here, and I can change the brightness level and the contrast level. So I'm gonna change that brightness level and just move that up a bit. Can you see what it's doing? So it's getting brighter as we head over to, oh, wow, that really was brighter. Okay, so it doesn't show you until you've actually moved it. So I can move that and just try and experiment to see if I can get my paper a little bit whiter in the background. Moving the contrast makes it the whites whiter and the darks darker. So if you're trying to show that you have a lot of medium tones in between, then adjusting the contrast is not going to be a great option for you. Um, if you are doing just a pencil drawing and you want it to show black and white, I don't mind that you select the black and white option, uh, but unless it is supposed to be black and white, don't choose that. Uh, so once we are finished selecting uh, the contrast and our brightness, then we're going to head up to where it says submit. And then it gives you the option to add a title. I don't require that you add a title, so you can choose to skip it if you'd like. And then it gives you the option to add an artist statement, which I will let you know if you need to add. Usually you don't, so I'll just say skip. And then it gives you the um, just a little, it's like a receipt, submitted to teacher for review. So that tells you that you have already added it. You have the option of going back and adding a title and adding an artist statement. So once you see this, you'll know that you're done. So you'll just click home so that the next person can see um, everything that they need to do. Oh, and this is actually still your login page. So then you'll just click log out so that people don't accidentally add stuff to your name. And you can see that once one person scans the QR code, it just goes back to this page so that usually you don't have to scan the QR code. After you are finished posting your picture, just go ahead and take the iPad and just set it back up on the stand where it goes. If there's anything left on the paper, if you could just like smooth it out that way. Art Sonia.